Hello everybody, this is Janice Goldschmidt and I'm back with another very special training video. Uh, today Justin is going to attack breakfast and this is a very ambitious meal he's going to make and he's going to do it almost completely independently. It really is quite a sight to behold. And even more than that, watching this young man prepare this meal independently, he's going to uh, address a lot of things we've talked about in these various video series we've been sharing. Uh, so I can't wait to dive in uh, and show you more. Well, before we look at the main attraction, let's talk about a few things you're going to see that I want to make sure that you pay special attention to. First of all, we're going to see some small appliances in here, and you know I love small appliances. They're just a great way to bring individuals to authentic independence in food preparation. We're going to see a toaster, and Justin's going to make toast in this video, um, and that's great. We had a whole video on that. We're also going to see a small appliance. I didn't quite know which specific it was, but it was basically an individualized omelet maker. It's fantastic. Look how simple it is. Look how safe it looks. All Justin has to do is drop some eggs into it, uh, some, some whipped eggs into it, and it's going to make him a, a small omelet. I love small appliances for this very uh, reason. They're simple, they're safe, they're intuitive. Uh, so we'll see that in the video. Uh, we're also going to see him using a whisk. This whisk really is delightful. It stands up so you don't have to lay it on the counter. It has a base. He's going to show some nice uh, action with the whisk and we'll talk about a little more about that at the end of the video. You're going to see him spreading things on, on toast. That was a video we saw in the original Food for Thought series. Spreading is a very important skill set and Justin's going to uh, show a quite high level of capacity for that. And lastly we're going to see some egg breaking. This is a very difficult skill set uh, to learn um, and um, we'll talk about that in more detail after the video but one of the things I want you to pay attention to is the fact that he is allowed the time uh, to, to continue cracking the eggs. You know he's cracking the eggs against the bowl but it's not opening them and I guarantee you nine times out of ten somebody would take those eggs away from him and do it for him thinking he just can't do it. Whoever's behind the camera, and I assume it's mom, uh, is uh, letting him carry on because he will get there. And that is the only way we learn. We're given that space uh, to practice and practice and practice until we get it right. So well done, mom. All right, let's go see Justin in action. All right, so first of all, Justin's doing breakfast, and it is a very ambitious breakfast here. So he is spraying oil on this little omelet machine. It's like an individualized omelet. I love it. It's right on the countertop and you can see how he's got plenty of room to work here and it looks very safe and clean. And he sprayed his little omelet maker. Now he's headed to the fridge where I assume he's going to get eggs. So he's going to make a little omelet and toast and he's making his breakfast and be still my heart. So we got some butter maybe for the toast and he's getting something else here we all go shopping when we get to the refrigerator don't we kind of look around see what's there all right look at this he's tapping it it's not quite hard enough but he keeps at it that's how we learn the right amount of pressure right he needs that opportunity excellent and he's using what I call crack and split this is my favorite technique for teaching egg opening beautiful Okay, and he's going to get rid of that egg. And we all know women love a man who cleans up after himself in the kitchen. And he's washing his hands even better. That's a good food safety tip. We don't want raw eggs. Now he's got this lovely little whisk. Now we're going to see two things here with Justin. He's going to use it like a spoon, like this. That's fine. Now he's using it as a whisk, and that's more wrist action. So whisk, we can either whisk it or stir it. They both work fine. All we need to do is agitate the egg, break it up, so then when it cooks, uh, it'll come out into a sort of a scrambled consistency. Beautiful technique. Give him space. He can do this. Perfect. I love this whisk. It stands up. It's got a base. And now he's going to take his egg, his whipped egg, and pour it into his little mini omelet machine. 
which is heated up and there's oil on it. He's being very careful. Fine, he's very capable here. And all he needs to do is shut that machine. Okay? And mom's prompting him and he's going to go and set the timer on the microwaves. I hate using a microwave for a timer uh, because it is so incredibly complicated to use. Um, and so I would get him a, a timer, I think. But he's got it. He doesn't need my help. So now he comes back. And I think he's going to clear away his dishes. And then deal with the next part of his breakfast, which is uh, that fact that he's preparing some toast. So the toast is in the toaster, and all he has to do is press it down. Whoops. There we go. And we're off to the races with our toast. And what's next? Going to get the butter ready. And there's our little omelet cooking away. It's adorable. Okay. And he's got his toast in the toaster, his eggs in the omelet maker. And he's just being a very patient man and waiting for his breakfast uh, to finish. This is the hard part of cooking, isn't it? Just the waiting. You see with a little bit of smoke coming off. But he's got a timer that's going to tell him uh, when it's done or when to open up the... Beep, I think it's saying. And almost. There we go. And voila, everyone. Justin has made an omelet. Fantastic. He's going to use a spatula there and scoop that out. Make being careful that he doesn't get burned, or there's no risk here, or very little risk. If he uses a spatula and he just needs a little, yep, there he's just sort of sliding it off the plate. That is perfectly fine. Wonderful. So, omelet ready, <laughs> and he's pleased as he should be. What's next, Justin? Yep, that's right. The toast is ready. So now he's going to show us how to spread, which we learned in one of our Food for Thought videos. He's using a, 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 a flatware knife, which is fine. It's a little heavy. I typically like a plastic spreader, but he's doing very nice. He's going to spread that butter around. And notice how he's using two hands. Remember, we call that bilaterality. He looks proud, as well he should be. Good job, Justin. Okay, just a few comments on some supportive tools. Some individuals would have more uh, difficulty uh, with the eggs in terms of mixing them up. Uh, Justin did great with the whisk, but uh, in one of the videos, uh, the one on uh, preparing pudding, we talked about the use of an egg beater. It's a very old, uh, old-fashioned, low-tech device, but it works very nice for many of my students who have difficulty, you know, stirring things. In this case, none was needed, but if you have, if you're uh, the individual that you live with or work with or support has difficulty in mixing things together, you might consider a very low-tech device such as an egg beater. I'm also a real fan of uh, pl those plastic spreader knives. They give a really wide uh, framework for spreading and makes it easier. Uh, Justin did very well with the flatware knife, uh, but sometimes for some individuals that's too heavy. And lastly on the issue of opening eggs, I like to use ma just a manual technique I call the crack and split, which we saw Justin do in the video. But there are some uh, simple tech things that uh, will help individuals crack eggs. I find that the device, those kinds of devices are almost as difficult to use as just learning to do it manually. So I have, uh, prefer to use an old-fashioned method. But there are some um, uh, uh, tools and uh, uh, techniques available to support individuals in learning this skill set. So let's give Justin the opportunity to shine without me yapping and give him the soaring soundtrack that he certainly deserves.
Well, we saw Justin prepare a very ambitious breakfast here, and he deserves our praise because that was really very impressive. And, and kudos to Mom, too, for stepping back, letting Justin just keep, you know, keep working at it. That's what it takes. Um, and I think you saw that Justin was very competent and very capable of preparing his own breakfast. So bravo. We'll see you in the next video.